Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer mail unboxing video. Uh, this beer mail here is, has come all the way from uh, the United States, from a beauty nation, Chris. Uh, we did a beer trade and this was actually my first beer trade. Uh, and um, I kind of, I know, I know at least one of the, or two of the beers he's sending, but I have no clue what the others are. Uh, so it's going to be quite interesting seeing what um, I'm getting here. I, I mean, it's... It's so fun over here to make these beer mails, it's like Christmas morning. Uh, but yeah, first beer mail, not last for sure, but they're quite expensive because you ship them overseas. But yeah, really well packed one of these, it looks like. Ooh, terrapin. Uh, yeah, that is a really, really nice way of packing the beer, these huge uh, things here. Okay, this was the main beer we traded for. This bad boy. Three Floyd's Dark Lord. Finally in my grasp. Um, Jakob actually also uh, pitched in for the trade, so we are um, splitting. We split the price for the sending the beer mail and um, also for uh, <coughs> for the beers. So uh, if we initially just wanted to trade the um, Blood and Ambique, and then we, we were going to trade that, and then he threw in some extras, and I did too. But yeah, Three Floyd's Dark Lord, Russian Imperial Stout. Awesome. Looking forward to be trying this a lot. The next one. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that was also the one of the beers we agreed on. Um, Jester King. Black Metal Imperial Stout. We really needed to try this one. Uh, I mean, Black Metal Imperial Stout, and I'm a metalhead, I really needed to review this. <laughs> but it's actually, it should be really, really good. So, um, nice. And the uh, bonus beers here, let's see what it is. Stone? Stone, Belgarnese Imperial Russian Stout. I think he also mentioned he was going to put it, this in. So, uh, thanks Chris, it's, uh, their, it's their series uh, beers for odd years, and this is just the... Well, it's a new series they started, and this is the first one, which is a Belgian-style version of their Russian Imperial Stout, brewed with Belgian yeast, oak chips, and star anise. Uh, thanks, Chris. And we've got some other ones here. Terrapin. Ah, uh, nice, cool. I've never had a terrapin beer, so I'm really looking forward to trying this or sharing this with uh, Jakob. It's uh, the Terrapin Monster Beer Tour. Uh, Gamma Ray, a wheat wine brewed with honey. It's quite interesting. Um, really looking forward to be trying this. Uh, let's see here. Now this is a can. Oh, and this is... Ah, oh, nice! Tenfidi Imperial Stout. That's also an Imperial Stout I've wanted to try for so, so, so long. Huge 10% Imperial Stout in a can. See quite a few reviews of this, so, uh, oh nice, thanks guys. Looking forward to trying that. And craft beer in a can, I think that's pretty cool too. And the last one looks like it's from his neck of the woods. It says Trogues on the cap, and I believe Trogues is in his neck of the woods, and it's a pretty big bottle. It is Trogues Double Bock, no, it, not double, but Double Bock beer. We don't get Trogues in Denmark, so that's going to be really interesting to try. That's really like an awesome beer. Double Bock. I've never had any Trogues stuff, uh, but I've heard that they make some pretty di darn nice beers, uh, especially their um, Nugget Nectar, I think it's called. I've heard that should be really good. There isn't really any info on here at all. Um, nope. 8.2%, that's about it. Yeah, cool. So, um... Thanks to Chris for the beers. There they are. I'm going to be looking forward to trying these. Uh, especially the Black Metal and Dark Lord. So yeah, nice little haul here. I'm also going to be doing a trade with uh, both <coughs> Ryan, aka Stumpy Jr. and um, Jameson from Tantrum77. Who also want bottle, a bottle, wanted a bottle or bottles of the Blah Blah Lambique from Ken Sion. Uh, so yeah, thanks Chris, 
And uh, yeah, look for reviews of these nice brews.